In example 22, we have x squared plus 6x plus 9. So we want to write this as x plus something times x plus something. And we need to find the numbers to put in here. x plus what times x plus what? We need two numbers that add up to 6 and multiply to 9. And you can probably see that x plus 3 times x plus 3 will do it. Doing a FOIL gives us an x squared plus a 3x plus a 3x, that's our 6x, plus 3 times 3, which is 9. So that works. And you notice that here we have x plus 3 times x plus 3, which could be written as x plus 3 squared. So this is an example of what we call a perfect square trinomial. This trinomial is equal to something squared. Not every trinomial is a perfect square trinomial, but this one is. And, and we see a pattern here that always shows up in perfect square trinomials. Look at this number here, the 6. Half of 6 is 3, and 3 squared is 9. Half of this number squared gives me that number. That's always the case if you have a perfect square trinomial. And now let's look at example 23 a squared plus 11a plus 30. We'll factor this as a plus something times a plus something. And those two somethings have to add up to 11 and multiply to 30. So we think, what two numbers add up to 11 and multiply to 30? And you might be able to see a plus 6 times a plus 5. 